Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lehnsherr and you're watching Get Germanized and welcome to today's list of things you would have never guessed come from Germany. These crucial inventions are an integral part of everyday life. I'm not sure that everyone out there knows though that many of them actually come from Germany. So let us get through this list. Let me know in the comments below if you knew about some of these, if you didn't, which other inventions came from Germany or which crucial inventions were made in your country of origin. First up, cars. The automobile was invented in 1886 when German inventor Karl Benz patented his Benz patent Motorwagen. Cars became commonplace in the 20th century. One of the first affordable cars was the 1908 Model T, an American car produced by the Ford Motor Company. In place number two, gummy bears. In the palm of your hand, a beautiful and bright bear. We all must have lots and lots of childhood memories associated with the gummy bear. A cute little colorful candy that is definitely one of a kind. In 1922, Hans Riegel invented one of Germany's most popular sweets. He was born in Bonn and founded the confectionery company Haribo, which is actually an abbreviation of his name. Hans Riegel from Bonn. Haribo. In place number three, optical fiber technology. Manfred Berner's research and patents in the field of optical fiber technology earned him the reputation as a pioneer of optical communications. With his optical waveguide system, which is still authoritative today, Manfred Berner modulated light for the first time. That means he made it a carrier of information and thus transmitted data up to electronically. Pretty cool, huh? This invention set off a great wave of development. So thank you very much for the fast internet, Manfred. At least now, now I got it here in the countryside. In place number four, the coffee filter. In 1908, Dresden housewife Milita Benz seized the opportunity and wondered why her coffee was always overcooked and bitter. She wanted to eliminate the harsh flavors that come from cooking loose grounds or brewing coffee using traditional flax techniques. Benz patented the invention after realizing she could make much tastier cups by filtering out the loose bottom with a simple paper strainer. And the family-owned Melita Group KG now employs around 3,300 people. Are you a coffee lover just like me? Then make sure to thank Melita for a more enjoyable brew. In place number five, the glider. Otto Lilienthal became the first pilot in history to fly a glider in 1894 thanks to his pioneer research on artificial wings and superb craftsmanship. He was tragically killed though during a test flight in 1896 and the Wright brothers in the United States worked extensively on his wing design leading to the development of powered aircraft. Would you agree with this entry to the list or would you rather credit Leonardo da Vinci? Let me know in the comments below in place number six. Another important item on our list, one of the greatest German inventions is of course the printing press. One of the earliest inventions that led to the printing of books, newspapers, magazines and so on. When Johannes Gutenberg invented the technique of printing books in 1456, the world was in a politically difficult time. The new technique made it possible to melt and cool the metal alloy very quickly and produce a long-lasting oil ink. It was usually a viscous liquid that bonded to the metal, making it easier to transfer it to the press and paper. The press had to exert a strong pressure on the printable surface to produce text. The very first book published in Europe using the printing press was the Gutenberg Bible, also known as the 42-line Bible, Mazarin Bible or simply B42. It marked the beginning of the Gutenberg Revolution and also the beginning of printing in Europe. Bringing a wave of revolution at a time when many countries were struggling with colonization and suppression of human rights. Next up in place number seven, the radar. James Clerk Maxwell in his seminal work on electromagnetism first indicated that the construction of radar-like systems was possible. It was not until the early 20th century that various instruments and devices made use of electromagnetic principles when the German scientist Christian Hülsmeyer developed a ship detection system that was primarily used to guide ships safely through the sea haze. The development of such systems which allowed the generation of small radio energy pulses was an important step on the way to today's radar systems. 
Among popular German inventions in shipping and aerospace technology, radar systems advanced rapidly during World War II and were the key element that led the Allies to success. In place number 8. Aspirin. In 1897, scientists at Bayer, a pharmaceutical and dye company, began researching acetylosilic acid as a less irritating substitute for common salicylate drugs and discovered a new way to synthesize it. In 1899, Bayer named the drug Aspirin and sold it around the world. The word Aspirin was Bayer's brand name, not the generic name of the drug. However, Bayer's rights to the brand were lost and sold in many countries. Aspirin's popularity grew in the first half of the 20th century, leading to fierce competition from a variety of aspirin brands and products. In place number 9. Bacteriology. When a dangerous cattle disease broke out throughout Europe in 1870, Robert Koch discovered that bacteria were the cause of the disease. He also succeeded in isolating the bacillus that causes tuberculosis. With these discoveries, Koch founded a new branch of science. Bacteriology. Imagine where we would be today without these crucial discoveries. Or do you think someone else would have eventually discovered it? Let me know in the comments below. In place number 10, the chip cart. The idea of incorporating an integrated chip into a plastic cart was first presented in the late 1960s by two German engineers, Helmut Grötrup and Jürgen Detloff. In February 1967, Grötrup filed a patent in West Germany for a counterfeit-proof identification switch based on a semiconductor device. Its primary purpose was to provide individual copy-protected keys to enable fuel dispensing at unmanned service stations. In September 1968, Helmut Grötrup, together with Detloff as an investor, applied for further patents for this identification switch, first in Austria and in 1969 as follow-up applications in the United States, Great Britain, West Germany and other countries. By the way, here's a fun fact for all that were wondering, why isn't beer on this list? Beer was actually not invented in Germany, believe it or not. At least not in its ancient form. It is true that today's beer styles were developed mainly in Europe, especially Germany, but throughout research we now know that beer was first drunk in ancient Mesopotamia. Crazy. There are theories that beer brewing took place in the settlements of Golden Tepe, now in modern day Iran, as early as 10,000 BC when agriculture developed in the region. For the people who lived in the land between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, beer was very important and a very important part of their diet. They called it the divine drink because of its intoxicating effect. The first solid evidence of beer making dates to the Sumerian period around 4000 BC. An archaeological dig in Mesopotamia uncovered a tablet showing villagers drinking a beverage from a bowl with straws. The archaeologists also found an ode to Ninkasi a patron goddess of brewing. This poem also contained the oldest known recipe for making beer with barley from bread. So if you enjoyed these and this extra little fact here at the end, leave a like, subscribe and let me know which inventions you know are from Germany or which inventions came from your country that you're really proud of. Let me know in the comments below. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and Auf Wiedersehen.